Hello, this one's a bit of a curio for me. I picked it up um, in a bag along with a ZX Spectrum Plus and some other bits and pieces from a work colleague a couple of weeks ago. And I knew the game of the tripods uh, based on the BBC television series from about 1985, I think, um, existed, <coughs> but I never played it. It's published by Redshift Software and um, I can't find any videos on it on YouTube to sort of like get a guide as to how to play it. So I'm playing this blind if you like. I've had a couple of goes at it and um, yeah, well, we'll see. Now, the aim of the game is that uh, you have been landed from England into Northern France. You're not there to pick up uh, a bootload of cheese and some French plonk. Um, you have got to make your way to the uh, the, the mountains in the southeast of France where you to meet up with the free men who help um, fight against the uh, titular tripods of the uh, of the title now <clears throat> I'm gonna sort of say this straight up. I don't like this game um, I've played it and tried to get uh, used to it and it's got some nice touches you can choose where you start from as you can see just here you can choose from six locations in uh, northern france and you can up to four players can play it and you can uh, take turns at playing it or you know people can sit out and rejoin the game sort of later etc so nice touch there but um, anyway here we go we're in the tripods as you can see it's a sort of text adventure style um game graphics are a bit primitive although in the crash review i read um they seemed to quite like them now on the blue bit there you'll see you've got a number of commands that's called the action line and you press the corresponding key um, to the action command uh, that you want to do so L and R is look left and look right and then MV is move you can look at your health you can eat you can check the contents of your backpack and on the bit below the graphic um, you'll see the sort of descriptive as to what your actions have uh, the effect that your actions have had now the little bar clicking down at the bottom oh there's a tripod the little bar clicking down at the bottom there is um tells you when nightfall um arrives and if this was being played um multiplayer then once a day's over for one player the next player sort of uh, gets a turn etc 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 now what's wrong with the tripods well not a lot happens in it um i've played this three or four times for hmm, half an hour 45 minutes each time and not really an awful lot has, has happened i've not sort of encountered much sense of menace much sense of danger um etc you, you occasionally meet a guard on the way um and you are faced with an option where you can sort of like try and fight them or you can try and uh, run away from them um, you also have um, a tripod danger if a tripod spots you it's a bit like the sentinel if you remember that game but just nowhere near as fun and you have the option to try and hide from it so that um, it doesn't track you and try and chase you across the landscape because it's got nothing better to do now the four player mechanic I suppose that would work quite well or could work quite well um, if there was a few of you around I don't know anyone that ever had the tripods game and like I say it's always been a bit of a curio for me um, redshift software that I can recall if when I was doing my research on was a couple of weeks back I think they only published this and a couple of other games maybe only uh, one other um, it comes in a very nicely presented box etc it's got a very nicely um, detailed map of southern england and the whole of france showing you but it don't really give you any information um I, on my travels through this game i've probably met only a couple of characters one of which was a guard and the other one was a villager who sold me some food um there's supposed to be bits and pieces that you can get and there are supposed to be other um, sort of depths to the game where you can sort of like travel more quicker if you can catch a horse um, but then you've got to have the correct equipment to catch the horse such as a rope etc so that's quite logical but to be honest um, the game is so slow and ploddy it doesn't really really want me make to 
play it really that in depth and see um, how much other stuff there is to find in it and see what sort of levels of depth there are beneath the surface. I'm sure there are. I'm sure there are some people out there who own the tripods and like it. Um, I have to say I'm not one of them. Um, but it's better than anything I could program, I suppose. I'm not, you know, it's probably on a hide into nothing with me anyway because I'm never a big fan of the um, adventure games. Anyway, I, I never really got on with them. I couldn't work them out. Um, some people I know obviously love them to bits, but they're not my uh, uh, my genre of choice um, at all, really. Um, played one or two. <coughs> you know, The Hobbit. Everyone's played The Hobbit. You've got to play The Hobbit, haven't you? Anyway, uh, this video is going to play out. This was just a very, very quick gameplay um, segment and review through a few... Um, times that I've played it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it. If you like to subscribe, please do. Thank you ever so much for watching. Have a great weekend. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.